Hey everybody, Michael Crump here. Today I want to take a look at packaging a Firefox extension that will stay persistent if your browser closes and reopens again. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, so I've already built my Firefox extension. In here I just ran a tree command and you can see I've got a background script.js. I've got my icon as well as we have a manifest. I have another video that I'll link up above that walks you through building this extension. How I have done this in the past is I would come up here to Safari and I would just take an about uh, debugging. I would head over to this Firefox. I would load a temporary add-in here. And then you can see right over here in this corner, it says Firefox tabs to Twitch. And I know this would work as I could come back over to, you know, maybe another site that I have here and I could scroll down and I could see Firefox tabs to Twitch, which I've demoed a couple of times before. Well, let's see what happens if we restart the browser. So you can see it's installed here. Let's just go ahead and close the browser. We're going to close all those tabs, come back, and we're going to open it back up again. And now we see that is no longer in there. So it took me a little while to figure out what you actually have to do in order to make that extension persistent throughout restarts. So let's head back on over to our working directory of the extension. And now this is the command that I'd like to run. So we are going to use the zip command here. It's going to be recursive. And we're going to go ahead and give it a name where we want to store that extension. In my case, I just want to go back one directory and just name it my extension one because I'm simple like that sometimes. And we're going to come over here and we're going to exclude anything uh, that may have an asterisk.get. So if you are storing this in source control, obviously you don't want that packaged up in your zip. So let's go ahead and run it now. So we can see that our background script was deflated, our icon folder there we've got our twitch.png and then we have a manifest.json let's take a look at that zip file here okay and there it is so let's now go ahead and let's try adding this into our firefox browser there is a add-on capability this you will see add-ons now one might think you would come back over to your folder where you have your extension at. And I'll just navigate to that. I'll open this up in a new folder. And now I'm going to go to my extension onezip and I'm gonna drag it right here. And it says Firefox has prevented this site from installing an unverified add-on. We'll go ahead and say okay there. And what we're gonna to need to do now is we're gonna to need to go into about config and let's do a search here. And you'll see XP install signatures required. We're going to turn that from a true on over there to a false. Let's close out of that. We still have our add on manager loaded. Let's go and try it one more time. We're going to drag and drop and it says, Hey, add Firefox tabs to Twitch. This add on is unverified. So I built this, and so I'm very much aware that it is okay to run. So I'm gonna hit add here. I'll go ahead and allow this extension to run in private windows as well. And I'm gonna hit okay, got it. So now just switching back over, we can see down here at the bottom, we do have the ability to send that over. Well, let's go ahead and close out of this again. I'm gonna come back on over to Firefox. Now, once Firefox has been loaded, we're going to, going to head over to another one of our favorite sites that we go to. And so now we can come back in here to our cyber shelf and we can go and we can send this to our chat room. And there you go. You see it's up there and it is working properly. We can obviously close this out for the third time and we can jump back into this. And again, we'll just take this current tab here. We're going to send that and you can see it working up above. I hope this quick tip helped you enable your Firefox extension to be persistent throughout restarts. My name is Michael and thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.